solve x cubed equals 9x. Now I'm going to quickly show you what is the biggest mistake students make. Um, because they have x cubed equals 9x, they say, oh, let's divide by x both sides. And then they say x squared equals 9. What happens is one of your solutions has gone missing and that is not good. Okay, so you're going to lose marks if you do it that way. You cannot get rid of a... Um, you can get rid of a, of a constant value, but you cannot get rid of a variable. Okay, so what we're going to do is, first of all, we're going to rearrange equations so everything is on one side. So I'm going to say, I'm going to subtract 9x on both sides, and I'm going to have x cubed take away 9x, which equals 0. Then I'm going to go through my usual steps of factorizing. So first of all, I'm going to look for common factors. Are there common factors there? Are there any common factors? Remember, common factors is, yep, I've got an x. So if I take out an x as a common factor, I'm left with x squared minus 9, which equals 0. I've taken common factors out. My next thing that I'm going to look at is the difference of two squares. Now, x squared minus 9 x squared is a square, so I can simplify that and say, yep, that is x, x minus, the square root of 9 is 3, so it's x minus 3, x plus 3, that equals 0. And then what I use is the null factor. The null factor says that if I have, I'm going to change it, a times b times c equals 0, then a is 0, or b is 0, or c is 0. And in this case, x equals 0, or for my second bracket, for this to be 0, for this to be 0, x have to be 3. So remember, it's the opposite sign of what we have here. So or x equals positive 3, or x equals, for the last one, negative 3. So there's three answers for this. x equals 0, or 3, or negative 3.